nationalism does nothing but teach you how to hate people that you never met. And all of a sudden you take pride in accomplishments you had no part in whatsoever and you brag about, you know, like the Americans you go, fuck the French. Fuck the French. If we hadn't saved their ass in two world wars, they'd be speaking German right now. You go, oh, was that us? That was us? Was, was that me and you, Tommy? We saved the French? <laughs> Jesus. I know I blacked out a little bit after that fourth shot of Jägermeister last night, but I don't, I don't remember. I know we went through to Wendy's drive-thru. We we're gonna get one of them fresh set of sandwiches. It looked so alluring on the commercial, but then we ordered it and realized we had no money and we had to ditch out before the second window. And those douchebags in line behind us with the bass music probably got our order and out. We laughed about that, but I don't remember saving the French. <laughs> oh, I, I went through the last 10 calls on my cell phone and there's nothing incoming or outgoing to the French looking for muscle on a project. I checked my pants, there's no mud stains on the knees from where we were garroting krauts in the trenches at Verdun. I think we didn't do anything but watch sports bloopers while we got hammered. I think we should shut the fuck up. All that stuff, uh, tradition and heritage, it's dead people's baggage. Quit carrying it. Did you make it up? No, it's passed on to me, pass it back. <laughs> Every immigration argument that you hear, they, they never come from a, like, well, how does it affect you personally? Well, you know, these immigrants, they come to our country, they burden our tax system. What they do is they come here and they get into our education system and our health care, and I gotta pay the taxes. My taxes have to pay that. Well, what the fuck are you doing to me? Every time you have a kid, every time you have a kid because it's American, I should pull up a chaise lounge and wave a flag while 15 of those things come out of you, pay every, oh, I can't wait to pay for these, they're American. I have a vasectomy and an abortion on my record, but I can't wait for all your fucking fat-headed mis Midwestern kids to come out of you. What are you, Catholic? Come on, be fruitful and multiply. Love it, love it. I'll get a second job. No, keep. Well, these immigrants, they don't fuck, they don't speak the language. They don't talk to them. <laughs> well, I solved your problem. That was quick. You know who speaks the language perfectly? Your next door neighbor. You've lived there eight and a half years. You've never said one fucking word to that guy. <laughs> You avert eye contact should you check the mail at the same time. <laughs> so why would you give a shit with the guy selling ganip ganops in a cart in the park speech? It's none of your fucking business. And all this, all the cliched arguments like that, well, they're, they're lazy, they're shiftless, and they're criminals and all this. They, all those arguments go against the main cliched argument of their taking American jobs. I live on the Mexican border. I live seven miles off the Mexican border in a town, Bisbee, Arizona, a little town. <laughs> I can go out any day and watch Border Patrol arresting these guys by the dozen, 11 at a time out of a Dodge Omni, like a clown car with plastic cuffs. And you're right, they don't speak the language and they probably have no education. They don't have fucking shoes half the time. They're like barefoot and tattered castaway like Gilligan's Island shorts and hey, the fucking dirty t-shirt and a dehydrated and wandering a desert for four days. And if that guy is as qualified for your job as you are, you're a fucking loser of such <laughs> epic, humiliating proportions. I would be ashamed to have anyone find out that guy took my job. He doesn't speak English. What, did they do your job training in pantomime, shithead? <laughs> oh, see, come on. Boy, boy, I see, boy, boy. Crank, 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 crank. You're out of here, mullet head. That guy's more qualified. <laughs> Fucking asshole, you should have tried harder. Nobody bitches about immigrants taking their job if that person has skills of any level. 
Not here, fucking brain surgeon sitting around the Beverly Hills Hotel Lounge. You know what really chaps my ass, Barry? <laughs> Scandinavian fellas are coming over, taking all our good neurosurgery positions. The Norwegians specifically. I say we down ourselves a bottle of Jack Daniels and go stop us some Ouija ass. The first Ouija we see. We j- Jump out of that explorer and pound him. <laughs> Fucking immigrants. All started with that Einstein. Once they brought him over from Germany and we didn't have any good genius jobs, it was a trickle-down effect. <laughs>